<laughs> you may want to watch this. Tonight, 19-year-old Leila Fernandez will take on Arena Sabalenka in the semifinals at the U.S. Open. No big deal. No, not at all. You know what? If I'm the uh, leaders, by the way, I wait till this match is over if you want yes. maximum uh, ratings. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so her opponent, ranked number two in the world, Leila, going into this tournament, ranked 73rd. All right, and one person who knows a thing or two about Layla's journey joins us this morning. It is a pleasure and an honor to welcome her coach and her dad, Jorge Fernandez, who joins us from Florida this morning. Jorge, nice to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Carolyn. Thank you very much for, uh, for having me. Well, listen, our pleasure. Thank you for being here uh, with us this morning on what is obviously a big day. How are you feeling right now at this moment? Because Carolyn and I, we're nervous wrecks. Uh, why, what's going on today? <laughs> I'm sorry, did I miss something? Because I, yeah. I passed out the last match and I think I just woke up. So did she win? <laughs> she sure did. Yeah. I, I see, this is the thing. This is the thing, Jorge. Your, your dad and your coach, uh, I, I don't know how you balance the two. Which one is harder? The dad. The dad is harder because the dad is, is, you know, I have to, it's hard enough to be a dad in a normal situation with, with, um, you know, with girls, you know, I, I have three girls. So I come kind of, I, I think I'm becoming an expert. And the only thing I can tell you is I don't know anything. Um, <laughs> so it's dealing with her, with her emotions and her beliefs and, you know, being able to transition from you know being a young a young young little girl to a young lady you know teenager right everything that's going on and now to a young woman you know she turned 19 at the u.s open we used to miss all her birthdays because it was during labor day and everybody would either have the last weekend at camp or getting ready for the first day of school so i always told her i said you know it doesn't matter because in the future you're going to be at the U.S. Open anyway, so really, it doesn't matter. And, you know, I was obviously saying it just to make it feel better. So we've had to deal with all those little emotions throughout the years. And I think being a dad is the most difficult thing because, you know, you, you can be a horrible coach. You just can't be a horrible dad. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us a bit about Layla's tennis journey. And has she always had, uh, she's got such a fire, fire inside her. Has she always had that and that determination? You know, it, it happened, it really happened when she, uh, she got cut from a, a provincial development team and uh, she came up to me and she was really hurt about it. You know, she, she was really, you know, it, it really, I, I noticed that it really touched her really deeply. And I thought, you know, I was going to get my weekends back. So I was kind of happy about it. Um, but then I, I looked at my daughter's eyes and I was just, I just made her a promise that I would always help her. And I think that every step of the way, the fact that, not too many people believed in her. They believed that she was a good athlete. They believed that she could hit a tennis ball, but believed that she can make it as far as she's made it was not part of the conversation. So I think that initial, you know, quote unquote, traumatic experience for a dream that she had as a little girl really set her on a path of belief and confidence. And every time somebody said no or put obstacles, it was just her and I, and I would always tell her, don't let nobody or nothing tell you what you should dream about. Only you have value on yourself. So believe in yourself, bet on yourself, and good things will happen. So I think, you know, that value system that she has inside, you know, is now, you know, we're seeing it live, we're seeing it in front of us, you know, and, and her, her answers aren't arrogant. It's just a self-belief that she's had to have, you know, all these years because, you know, I mean, I've always told her in the training ground, you're going to meet somebody that's going to be three times bigger than you are. So you better believe in yourself. And, you know, guess what we're going to see tonight, right? Miss <laughs> Avalenka Jorge. at five foot 11. <laughs> Jorge, that, those are the words you told her then. What have you told her today or what are you going to tell her today leading up to tonight's match? Well, I usually separate the conversation in two pieces. Usually the first piece is obviously tennis. And I can't divulge what I'm going to say to her before the match. Um, 
But well, I can't on, tell you. It's only us. It's only us. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys, there's no viewers out there, I'm sure. <laughs> nobody, nobody, nobody looks, watches your show. Um, but honestly, you know, the real, the most important message is really, look, this is only the beginning. So this is a day like no other day. But we will treat it like every other day that we have trained extremely hard. This is this is what we've been training hard for. So I'll give her the same message that I've given her the last couple of times. Mm. You're living your dream. Go fight for your dream today. Go fight for it. No matter what happens, as long as you can look at yourself in the mirror and you be proud of you, that's all that matters. All right. Some great, great words of advice. Jorge, a real pleasure to have you with us this morning. Good luck uh, in the match uh, later tonight. You know we will be cheering a Layla on. <laughs> Vamos. All the way. Thank you for All having me. Way. Have a great day. Our pleasure. And you can follow and support Layla on her social pages, both her Twitter and Instagram handles. We put them up on the screen. So go give her some best wishes and go support her there. Jorge, such a pleasure. <laughs> Pleasure was online. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.